Take a look at shares of Wells Fargo sinking today after the bank reported lower than expected revenue amid a drop in mortgage lending. Earnings did beat expectations as it decreased its credit reserves. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview, Wells Fargo CFO Mike Santamassimo. It's great to have you back on, Mike. Nice to see you. Hey, Sarah. Thanks for having me. As for the, the share price reaction, it seems like Wall Street wasn't that thrilled with the quality of, of the beat. The fact that it was reserve release related, revenues were lower, the drop in fees, the increase of, in expenses. What happened there? Well, I think we're continuing to see some good things, you know, in there as well, you know, as, as both the consumer and our corporate clients continue to, you know, have really high levels of liquidity. You know, people are out spending. We're seeing that in the results. Uh, you know, none of, the, none of the risks that we're seeing from inflation and other factors are driving, you know, any risks from a credit perspective yet. Um, and, you, and you also saw us continue to focus on our own priorities that we've seen. We've, we distribute more capital back to shareholders. We're making progress on our efficiency initiatives. And we're also starting to, you know, or continuing to uh, launch new products and innovate. We, we launched our, our new mobile app in the quarter. We launched a new credit card. Uh, that gives renters the ability to earn rewards for paying rent. And so there's actually, uh, you know, a lot of good progress that you saw in the results uh, as well. And there were high expectations as the stock has been an outperformer among the financials. So, Mike, expenses seems to be the issue and one of the big focus areas, especially for a restructuring story like yours. They went up, but you, but you did tell Wall Street that they can remain flat for 2022. How much confidence do you have and how are you going to do that? Yeah, we feel really good about uh, the efficiency plan that we put in place, you know, a little over a year ago. We're continuing to execute on that. And although we had, you know, slightly higher expenses in the quarter, we still feel really good about the ability to continue to do that for the full year. Um, and this is going to continue to be a multi-year journey as we build uh, more of the efficiency uh, initiatives into our, into our plan. And it's really starting, you know, it's not only about saving money, it's actually about, like, you know, improving customer service. So when we do this, you get faster return, you know, faster turnaround times, better, you know, better capabilities for clients, better products for clients. And so there really is a win-win for everybody as we, as we continue to drive the efficiencies. And we're, and we're confident we're going to be able to keep doing it. On the fee side, uh, the, the big pain point for the consumer was mortgage banking, which I think deteriorated almost 50 percent quarter over quarter. What is ahead for your housing business as mortgage rates continue to climb as the Fed raises rates? Well, you know, in the quarter, we saw, I think, the, the largest increase in mortgage rates, uh, if not ever, certainly in a very, very long time. And that's going to have an impact on uh, mortgage volumes, particularly in the, refinance, uh, in the refinance market. And you're starting to, you know, see that uh, come through not only our, our volumes, but also the industry uh, volumes. So we would expect that to have a negative impact, you know, at least uh, as we go into the, into the, second, uh, into the second quarter. Uh, but there are still some, you know, bright spots in terms of the purchase market where we still expect that there's going to be some growth there, uh, you know, this year hmm. as there's still a strong demand for uh, for new house, new homes. You see that holding up even with these higher mortgage rates? Well, it's certainly gotten more expensive, you know, as rates have gone up. But there's still uh, is, there still appears to be a healthy appetite for, uh, you know, for new housing out there across the country. So but so we'll see how that develops over the rest of the year. Aside from mortgages, I mean, you are a big net beneficiary of the, the rising interest rates, of course, that helps lending profitability. What, what is your expectation on that front now that the market's pricing in eight or nine rate hikes this year? What that's, what that's going to well, do to your the, earnings? Yeah, what's, what's clear, right, is the expectations have certainly changed a lot over the last uh, a couple months. And, you know, exactly how many rate rises we'll see and at what pace, you know, that's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see that, you know, together uh, over, the, over the coming months. But what's clear is we're really well positioned in this environment to, uh, to, to benefit from that. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully, you know, what it'll do is continue to, uh, you know, help tame inflation over the, over the coming quarters. Um, and, and we'll see how it progresses. But uh, we're certainly going to be a beneficiary from rates. Now, that'll also have some impact on, uh, on other factors that could, that could impact our fee lines. But, um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see that sort of progress over the rest of the year. Yeah, to talk to us a little bit about that. How, how do you see it impacting the consumer, which I think, as you said this morning, is in very good shape. You saw credit card spending rise, loans are up. What, what is going to happen to the consumer later this year and into next? Well, I think, I think, you know, people are starting to feel the impact of inflation. You're seeing the, you know, these inflation prints come through over the last, uh, over the last couple quarters. 
But so far, the good news is it hasn't really translated into real stress from a credit perspective, given the high levels of liquidity that, that are there. And so, so far, you know, we're, we're seeing the consumer actually, you know, uh, do quite well. You saw a little wage growth as well over the, over the last couple quarters that's helped. Um, but I think we'll see we'll see how it how it progresses. We would certainly expect at some point, you know, our charge offs to go up and and uh, maybe normalize a little bit more. But but so far so good in terms of the performance we've seen both in the consumer side and the corporate side.